Thomas Halleck here, University of South Florida. Today's three-minute lesson for a road course in early American literature involves the trial of Anne Hutchinson. Let's go straight to the PowerPoint. Anne Hutchinson, 1591 to 1643. Arrived in Boston in 1634, and then she had a famous trial in 1637. What specifically happened? Well, to review, in Puritan theology, there were basically two covenants, two ways to roll you past the pearly gates. The first would involve the covenant of grace, would be inward, which would be God decides who is going to heaven and who is not. Nothing is revealed to the soul, but only Christ sent his righteousness freely given. The second would be the covenant of works, which would be an external. The deeds you do, the things that you say, prepare the soul for your sanctification or election. Now, this gets really complicated really fast. It was an unresolved contradiction within Puritan society. And of course, when a society has its differences, it splits. What do they do? They, well, put a woman on trial. So there is a two-day trial for Anne Hutchinson. First, she asks, what law have I broken? Why am I on trial? And the governor, John Winthrop, says, why the fifth commandment, dishonoring of parents. Obviously, on the first day of this two-day trial, Anne Hutchinson is not going to have any trouble fending off her opponents. But in day two of the trial, she begins to get into some difficulty. Increased Noel asks her, how did you know it was the Spirit? How did you know the Spirit was working through you? And Hutchinson makes the extraordinary claim, how did Abraham know that it was God that bid him to offer his son, being a breach of the sixth commandment, thou shalt not kill? How did Abraham know that he was supposed to kill poor Isaac? Of course, the angel stops it, but that's another story. The deputy governor says, by an immediate voice, Miss Hutchinson says, so to me by an immediate revelation. And the deputy governor goes, how an immediate revelation? You've got to be kidding me. And Anne Hutchinson continues, by the voice of his own spirit, God's own spirit to my soul. She likens herself to Daniel in the lion's den. And then she says, you have power over my body, but the Lord Jesus have power over my body and soul. And assure yourself thus much, if you on this course begin, will bring a curse upon you and to your posterity, and the mouth of the Lord hath spoken you. Damn. I mean, literally. That is what would get Anne Hutchinson banished. And then, of course, she was um, sent from Boston, then she went to Rhode Island for a while, and then eventually wound up in Westchester County, East Chester, New York, sometime, somewhere in that area where she was killed. And that is the key, I think, throughout Puritan society and then in, immediate, in American life, whether or not your um, gifts are freely given by God or whether or not your sanctification is evidenced by your good deeds. That's about it.